open a new document I'm choosing 1500 by 1500 make sure you have no fill and only stroke selected you will it is better to have a copy of the design you want to make so I'm pasting a copy of the design put it aside this will help with your design this is one of the designs where you need to decide beforehand how much stroke weight you will put I'm choosing a circle with 500 points center it copy it now the stroke weight is needed see this did, it is quite touching here so you need to shift the second circle on the x-axis by 15 points since I'm using a I will be using a 30 point stroke now press R on your keyboard on the, on the center of the middle circle on alt press and type in 90 degrees and hit copy now you have to make another circle this time the circle will be 470 since these two circles are almost touching so 470 will work this will dip this will vary on depending on the size of your design and place circles at the intersection point of the two circles zoom in to make sure you have you got it right this will make the lot things lot easier later illustrator makes it quite sim easy with the, the panel on your right side zoom out with control 0 and control press R on your keyboard and control press the uh, center and hit 90 and copy press V to select the selection tool and delete the center circle make sure you select everything and go to the stroke weight and change it to 30 go to object you can use expand also path outline stroke hit this arrow and you will go back to stroke go to the pathfinder window and hit divide with everything selected right click on it and hit ungroup deselect everything and now you need to delect and delete the parts you are not needing this will make the design lot easier to finish now make sure you select everything and hit the shape builder tool and slowly finish it off finish off the design with reference to the design you have if you want to make it transparent you have to delete the inner parts by pressing ctrl r ctrl while pressing the alt key and the sign will change to minus i'm not doing it here because i don't need it Be precise while doing this if you make a mistake hit ctrl z on your keyboard and to go back and redo the step I do apologize for the surrounding sounds. Sometimes you may see while doing this that your line or stroke is gone but the path is still there. That's probably because you uh, selected while using the shape builder tool on the line so it gets absorbed with the background. Just select the path and give it a stroke weight and it will come back.
be precise while doing this this will help you a lot see the stroke I actually did it like that it won't work with this way but the stroke the path is there see you can select the path here and give it a stroke weight the line will come back so similarly do it the same at the bottom and you can get the same thing back now we are going to color the whole thing we will give it a stroke of one and we will select everything and choose the life paint bucket tool and start coloring it you can choose whatever color you want I'm going to give it a four color effect choose red first and start filling in if you make a mistake hit ctrl Z to go back and redo it That's your basic colored design. Now we need to put a background. Hit M on your keyboard to select the rectangle tool. Keeping the shift key pressed, you need to draw a square which is larger than the design. change the color center it beforehand or you can do it later also change the color I am choosing purple for you right click on the square go to arrange and send it to back select the design and center it also we don't need this template anymore delete it that's your basic design 